Hello everyone, this is Captain Sweep of the Very Secret Clan, and I'm here with Planetary Guardian Jordan Stallman, who is diving deep into the inflow matrix and bringing his own matrix, the outflow matrix in, and things are happening which we couldn't even comprehend, but now we will try. Jordan, please tell us what you are doing. Mm. So, over the past week since I've been at my now I'm staying at my parents house and I have this bedroom with a fantastic big wall and a room to build into let me just okay so I've taken this is a map that the Veeam team facilitated by Elijah created as um, a collection of values very particularly placed and and designed just for Veeaming for communication and clarity and I've been building my life around this. I've been building everything that I'm creating in my world around this map. And so I've, I've uh, taken these nine segments and I've taken, basically created nine segments of my consciousness and divided parts of myself into these groupings so I can manage different parts of myself by, by seeing what are your goals and what are your challenges and what do you want to create and how does that relate to the, the system in a, in a holistic way so that my needs can be met in a very holistic way. And so starting off, my initial intention is to create a media series out of each of the segments. Um, and so I'm basically creating media and communication that not only goes out into the world, but it also reflects back to myself as to the culture that I'm wanting to create my consciousness to exist within. So I'm actually defining myself as a being um, through these categories of how I've set my life to exist as. And so I've basically, I've been creating, I've, I've created kind of like a yellow brick road for my consciousness to follow. And um, I, base, I, I have a, um, a route basically that I go, how can I say, one second, you see this, there we go. So I have a, a pathway that actually moves around this system in a way that every piece is met and interacts with each other. So this is what a day in my life looks like. And so I'm going from different consciousness categories, different segments, to make sure that all my needs are met every day, that I'm being seen from every angle and cultivating the culture of myself defining it and and acting on it so that i'm becoming um the person that i most want to be i'm becoming more clear about the person i am and i'm also realizing um how i'm showing up in the world and how i'm interacting with uh with friends and family and communities and and my my own person wow i love that map you just showed me it looks very symmetrical i i want to use it immediately uh, the, not just that one, the other one, the daily one that, that had the three. Oh, yeah. Here, here's, I also have a week map. This is what a, a week looks like. Okay. And I also have the directing, building, reflection that I just pulled yesterday. Very, very convenient. Oh, nice. Very fitting. Nice, nice, very nice. Uh, I have something to show you, too, uh, which is bringing... Uh, three goals a day into the seven uh, the seven step pulse model okay and uh, I don't know when when I can show you that or just why don't you keep going and uh, we can bring that in later okay um, yeah because that that is helpful it is it is important to set goals and basically I have there's three different pillars and I define them as the pillar of awakening, the pillar of friendship, and the pillar of sovereignty. And so all my media is, all my media, everything that I'm creating in my life is, is um, defining one of those categories. And I'm understanding myself through the lens of awakening, friendship, and sovereignty. So I'm defining myself in terms of these qualities as my, is my highest priority in the definition of who I am. And every piece of media, every piece of content that I create is 
at some play, place rooted to one of those categories. Mm, very nice, very nice. Um, and so right now, actually, what I'm doing currently is I've, I've uh, so I've just designed a way that I'm, so I'm going around this yellow brick road of my consciousness every day, and I've created a musical score, and there's a little, a small, I can do this in an, there's a 60 second musical track that I've created that um, has uh, three, uh, how can I say, um, a small musical, like kind of um, audio logo for each culture piece. And so there's three audio, there's, um, I'm creating a map, a pathway, a sonic pathway through each day. And so I'm remembering this song that represents who I am and represents all the, the cultural definitions of who I am. So as I'm listening to this track throughout the day, it's, it's guiding me around exactly how to follow this map. And I've, I've created a way to have 30 different components with uh, 27 here, 27 components here, and then three additional um, components that just allow for access to different parts of the map mm -hmm. and what i want to say but right now what i'm doing is basically taking this these 30 segments and turning it into businesses so i have 30 different businesses that i'm defining and each one correlates to one of those culture regions mm -hmm. and the point is that i'm really understanding how my own consciousness operates and how the different parts of my my um, neurology respond and interact with each other. And as I'm doing this, I'm seeing, oh, if I have this, um, this sign of truth in my life, to receive that with love, and from that love, to, to receive that love with grace, and from that grace, receive that grace with clarity. So it's a way of always keeping yourself in flow in a balanced flow you're always you always have if there's a piece of information that's even turbulent at times if it's scary or turbulent to look at like you've un uncovered something or you're talking to somebody and they say something that makes you feel upset there's always a place you go to where that's making you feel upset and there's the, a, a pathway to make yourself feel calm and balanced and easeful and you just relate onto that map and then that delivers you to a way of, of peaceful progression around communicating with yourself and others. Mm. How do you access that pathway when you're in the moment, let's say, of being triggered? Or do you gotta wait a bit? Like, like for instance, here's, here's the, the primary pathway that I'm using. Um, so we're going from, so I've defined this as truth, moves into love which moves into grace which moves into clarity which moves into orientation and to rebirth and the rebirth back into truth and so if something comes up in truth that's hard for you to accept or look at you naturally want to receive that with love is your next step step so how Take that into the culture of love and you just spend your time every day and every breath. You're defining these regions. So you know what love is. You know what this means for you. And you can easily take that truth and come into love. Because if you, if you, you know, it just allows you to, you just memorize the system so that you don't get that truth and then just like go kind of crazy all over the map and go to play like maybe over here is where you keep getting lost maybe here's where you keep getting caught up and upset and uh and this allows you to say no we don't go here if you're feeling upset and your natural instinct is to go someplace that's not making you feel good just follow the pathway and you just train in meditation and breath this pathway every day Everything that you do, everything that you do, how you do one thing is how you do everything. And, and what's really great is about this pathway is I'm, I'm noticing now that these points are actually, if you marry these, so orientation and rebirth, 
if you marry them, they become awakening. And over here, love and grace, if you marry these, they become friendship. And so you're just constantly, everything that you do is just moving around these pillars and you're just feeling yourself come alive because every room is you and you're constantly just defining yourself in, in music, in work, in conversations. And, and it just allows yourself, you know, if I'm to pick up a guitar now, I can sing really clearly because the thoughts, I don't get caught up. I don't get stuck. I don't trip over myself because there's a natural progression that leads you into into a part of yourself, a part of your heart that's waiting to catch the preceding part. The most, the most greatest gift you can give yourself is to just give yourself fully without any inhibitions or judgment because there's gonna be a next that receives you. Mm. So if you judge yourself, you take yourself out of the system. So you just gotta show up as who you are and allow this beautiful ballet of consciousness orchestration to catch you and have your back and just learn yourself. It sounds as if you're getting all of your parts of yourself in coherent cohesion and flow and every one of them has their place so they're not stopping or blocking or sabotaging each other because each part of you is getting what they need. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and you notice like, I'll notice maybe if I'm singing a song or if I'm in a conversation and I revert to the map and I, and I remember to follow the system, I'll notice, oh, there's part of myself that I keep on ditching. I keep on running away from. Um, I keep on like, I'll go around the system, maybe truth, for example, maybe I'll go into into rebirth and then i'm about to go into truth but i like i maybe i'll be afraid of what's there maybe i'm afraid of what's there so i actually am not inhabiting a, a very crucial part of myself and i'm a boy and i'm seeing i'm starting to see where my consciousness where my mind is actually trying to avoid the parts of my being so I know where I have to focus. And if I'm creating media, because I want to create music and videos and, and all types of art forms, I know where I should focus that art form to reclaim myself. Mm. Wow, really nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, sounds like you're having lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is quite. Mm. So... How are you getting along in terms of media pieces, or are you still working on structure? Mm, am I still working on structure? I want to be able to host conversations across the system. Um, so the three main pillars are me, are, are me as Jordan Stallman. But the other six pillars are actually characters that I've created to exist in specific domains. So I'm actually basically creating and hiring facilitators of regions of my consciousness that are kind of like, um, like character roles. So I'm casting my own consciousness like a movie and I'm creating, I'm, I'm scripting and then like and hiring basically my consciousness into um, casted roles that manage orientation and truth and clarity and love and grace and rebirth. So now in media, I can I can basically have a conversation with myself across my own mind, across my body, across my consciousness, um, and then I can script that way. So. Scripting becomes a really powerful medium of of um, of understanding yourself because you know how you're interacting with your own consciousness and perhaps maybe if you're going to create media for um, collectives to get involved in, if you want to write media scripts, you can start to see how groups interact because it's a it's a fractal of consciousness and if 
you look at a human mind, a human consciousness one in, within one person, and you can understand that in a very efficient order, you can just take that system, you can just take that map and apply it to a large range of people. So suddenly everyone starts moving together like a school of fish. How do they do that? How does everybody swim together like that? Like one motion. And we can do that if we're following the same mapping structure. Very, very efficient. And communication travels just like light, like, like neurons firing. You know where the information goes to, just like lightning down the pathways to where it needs to go across crowds, across communities, across like global borders to, to go exactly where it needs to. It's just magnetically attracted. This piece of information needs to go to this piece. And they know because they can communicate. Okay, well, why don't we try it right here and I'll show you the latest map that came through today and to see if we have the synchronicity lined up like we, we have in the past. Uh, I, I love the latest map. Is that okay with you? That sounds good, yeah. Okay. Now. Okay, so... Here we have the Planetary Guardian's Juggernaut Weekly Score Sheet. And so on the right here, the Weekly Pulse, we have your basic week where you can fill in the date, but then we've broken it down into the start, the setup, the build up, mm -hmm. the crescendo, ease out, connect, and unify. And then basically in each one of those days, you have a bronze goal, a silver goal, and a gold goal. Bronze being 10 mm -hmm. points, silver 30, and gold is 60. And so at the end of each day, you score 100 points. Now, this is just level one. This is just, you know, th there isn't a lot of detail. It's just coming up with three goals a day and then differentiating those goals by some sort of value system in terms of this is more important to me uh, than this one. So what do you think? I think it's, re yeah, I think it's really, really helpful. Um, it's really helpful to set goals, to, to be able to um, have something you're working towards in the day. I find that's really helpful for me. In fact, I feel like that's something I've been missing out on is actually, I've been so much just creating maps basically every day, but I would very much like to be able to set goals so that I know what I'm um, creating towards. What I think will be really helpful in this stage is maybe, for instance, maybe I don't know how to set goals so well. And so this map would be great, but what I'd really like is a, a kind of a tutorial of how to of how to use how to use goals, how to create um, how to create. Um, well, one thing I can add: there's another map that was the last week I was uh, working on. Um, is this map, and this is. This is bring back in what I talked to you before. This is a year. So we're looking at a year and we were just looking at a week. And so this is very concise, right? It's the 13 cycles of the moon on the left. And then each cycle of the moon is there in front of you. And so this just gives again, you know, looking at the lunar cycle at learning and jobs at the info matrix. And this is the map of each one of these boxes creates a, a scoring system where instead of time, you're looking at the pulse model as the methodology to look at where you are in the lunar cycle. So you've got the start, the setup, the build up, the crescendo, the ease out, connect and unify, the finish and the whole at the yearly level, right? And then. So 13 cycles in a year. Yeah. And then what this does is it now connect, it creates numbers in a place where you get a score so this is the yearly scoring system for the planetary guardian system and then at the top we have something a little unique cycle 13 is starting you know stephen covey said begin with the end in mind mm. and just imagine if you because that last that's cycle 13 from this from the year before and that that sets the tone for actually cycle one so that that last cycle of, of last year is, is at the top. <laughs> I 
What do you think of that? <laughs> I think it's I think it's really powerful. Um, I'm uh, so basically you have thirteen you have thirteen cycles in a year. You have four weeks in a in a cycle, and you have seven days in a week. Um, this is actually the first cycle. This is actually the I, I've been using the the seven day pulse for quite some since October is when I started. I instantly saw my life starting to just magnetically align to a higher intelligence, the higher way of ordering, organizing my my daily routines and the way that I'm thinking about life and like through time. But now I'm actually, this is the first um, month that I've been actually using the, um, the, uh, the four, um, the four weeks in a cycle mm. as defined as the first week I focused on desire of what I wanted to create. And the second week I focused on the definition. And now I'm in the third week of dedication, which is quite, um, wow, a lot of things. It's really, it's really magical to see how things are creating in this four week cycle. Cause I've been, I've been just amazed at how they've been created. Um, when you're actually looking at your life, creating that cycle of having the setup and the, and the buildup and the climax, and then eventually coming to connect and unify is just this beautiful way of creating in your life. But now taking that, that and then multiplying that by four and starting to see that that cycle ramp in fours of of how to create with um, organizing time that way has been really powerful to get myself really 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 clear on what it is that i'm creating on my priorities of of what is obviously important and significant for me in my life right now and i'm being able to see that um see that being created now, not just through the week, but now every month. And that's been really, and I know actually I'm, I'm offset by two weeks in terms of this, the calendar that you've laid out. Um, I, uh, so in, I, I'm in the week of dedication, but by your calendar maps, we're starting the week of desire this one. So next week I'm going to shift into the well, it's, I don't actually, well, I don't use those ones. I just use more the personal, the one-on-one, -on -one, the group, and the community space. So maybe those can be interacted with in a, in a different way. Um, what's the date today? It's the uh, April 9th. Okay, so we're just coming to the end of the personal space one. And then moving into the one-on-one -on -one space. And then going into the community space and then the group space okay oh so that's how you've set it up so that it's what's the first week that you've been doing well the, the first week would be the personal space but but i'm i don't know something's changing because of this weekly thing i'm just i'm seeing how to bring in the full moon and the new moon onto this yearly chart remember i said i might you know wasn't lining up but mm -hmm. the full moon lined up on the crescendo, so that's a pretty good lineup. Um, anyway, I, some more maps are coming in, and of course, each map is kind of changing how I'm doing it. And each time I think I have something, something else comes in. So I'm uh, just coming out now with kind of like the numbering goals for system. Uh, the language seems to be done, and now I'm doing some tedious computer work that I've never been able to do. So, I mean, those maps. Mm -hmm. are, are, uh, anyway. They're shifting. Did you say they're changing? Well, there's there's something coming true, and with each map, it's like another piece. And and sometimes if I say, well, this is what's going on, it's not necessarily true. Something's coming true that I may not know about, and it's only when it comes true that I finally go, okay, well, that's what that is. And that's a kind of different way of creating than. Mm. Mm -hmm. Most kind of normally would do. I I've been. Can I let me run something by you? I've been looking at um, creating, starting with the community space. So I've had this on my TV for a little bit. Um, I, there. So 
So I have playful, fierce, spooky, and tantric. And I've been looking at creating a cycle that moves in this pattern, in this fashion. And then now I've been correlating that with, and like seeing where that fits in. And I've been looking at creating in a way of um, where we have community space, group space, uh, personal space, and one-on-one -on -one space. And if you, and basically moving, because if I was gonna create media, that involved a whole bunch of people creating like media together we could you could start the start off your cycle with a theme and put that out to the community so that everybody can um interact with that theme in a, in like everybody's like you're syncing the community to be able to have the same intentional basis and then the next week move into group so how are the groups going to like um, manage with like getting so basically yeah, you give the intention to the entirety and then you have groups talk about how they're going to utilize that and then they break off and you have your personal space to be able to do what you um, to be able to create whatever you want to go off of in any direction um, based on that theme in your life personally and then relate what you've learned in a one-on-one -on -one space with uh, with another individual so that you and this other person are having a time to really connect on what you've distilled from that intention and then you bring that everybody after making that connection comes into the community space again to, um, to f perhaps to start off by talking about what we learned from the last last uh, cycle and to usher in the new cycle the new themes and intentions I like that I like that I mean you know, with a circle, anything can kind of become the beginning. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if we're just kind of following that that one rotation, uh, that kind of makes sense, which would mean April 18th would be the beginning of that. Yeah, I think it's I think it's really helpful though to really to find the the order that best suits in terms of so that everyone's on the same page, so that. Because if you have a calendar, it's not so helpful if somebody's living March and then another person in that same block is living December and they're wanting to communicate, right? But if both people can, oh, we're in the community space because then the community is all going to come together. And then I rather know. than somebody trying to start the community in another block. No, you, you have to. You have to. You have to have one central reference point that you're sort of is, is the ref prime reference point for the community to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it, yeah. Do you want to like how do you have it a set up in the structure right now? Well, yeah. Um, you know, with the. Oh yeah, I have this. I have a photo of this map. So this one, and then each one has the personal one-on-one -on -one group and on it. And this is referencing Jose Arguez's calendar uh, and his day out of time. And then, I mean, it's, it's hard to know if your intuition is pointing to the right direction or not, you know, about starting points and stuff like that. I mean, this is, this is very coherent in terms of, um, I don't know. You know, sometimes I feel something's coming through me and sometimes I feel like I'm guessing at things, but it sure does line up at some point, you know, where I, it's, it's beyond totally. comprehension, you know, wh whatever it is. And, and my little mind can't seem to understand it all the time until I finally get, oh, okay, that's why. But with you, you know, there's another map or there's another person who's coming up with his own level of creativity and so you're you're doing it from such a you know whether you're doing the outflow matrix or you're doing your own matrix system you're, you're playing with your own language structures and that's the main thing is like how do you play these language structures to create sort of fractal representations for the mind and consciousness to play with right and mm -hmm. then which of those kind of correspond to the actual way things are <laughs> a lot of times you know there, there may not be a correlation and 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 then you've got 
the, the human reality or the conceptual structures that our society works with, and they don't always coincide. Can you hear me? Is that? Yeah, I can. I can hear you fine. Yeah. 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 If you're, I mean, I find like, if you're looking to live your life like a line, you can't see the distance. But if you're looking to live your life like a circle, then all of a sudden your whole being just pulses. It just pulses everything that you are and you're hitting all your needs and everything that you value if you're moving like that. And then if you just, just like the planets do, if you just orbit around the cycle and you feel yourself and you see yourself from all different angles versus trying to create yourself like a step-by-step -step um, in terms of just like, like, hmm. it's beginning with the end in mind, and this is who I am, and this is a way of understanding myself. So no matter what I create in my life, it's going to reflect who I am. I think at some point we may have, you know, sort of, like slots, right? Like consciousness slots where uh, like in the matrix, we get programmed with something and all of a sudden- Yeah, you totally, know totally. I call those places cartridges so you can load them. Okay. And I think, you know, I can see how you can do that conceptually. They may try to do things like that physically, but we can do that conceptually, right? Like put in a whole mapping system that all of a sudden the mind just understands and gets because it's 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 been sh shown to it how the idea of cartridge cartridge programs works and that absolutely to me when i was growing up nobody talked about things like that like the, <laughs> there wasn't much training on <laughs> thinking or mind or consciousness uh, when i was growing up uh, yeah you know, but now because of youtube and because of you know star seeds and different beings are coming in that are a little bit more advanced than uh, some of the other beings, I think. Can I show you how I've been using the, the, my daily map? Okay, it's actually, it's a consciousness accelerator. Um, it allows you to basically take, you the point, you, you want to exist as a perfect balance between these three pillars. And then you're using the six outside of those three pillars to have an understanding and a balancing around those three pillars. And then I've created one more level back where there's basically nine, oh, okay, nine more on this side and nine on this side that reflect a balance point of these nine points, if that's clear. But basically what it's saying is that these in the center here are the three pillars and you start your day here and you move around the outside and when you get to two there's actually another component that stop like you shoot yourself into the into the inner six and so it's it's more it's kind of like real the norm frequency of reality and then it kind of it shoots you into like hyper reality so much more higher focus of definition of your life and then it shoots you once more when you get around the circle it shoots you into the center again so you're in the most potent of what you want to create right in the middle you're in you just shoots you into the middle three and then before because this it's exhausting to focus here because there's so much energy you can't relate at that high energy for so long so it actually there's one more uh, there's a third um, additional component that shoots you back so that before you get too tired of that high focus, it actually catches you. And that's why this three is out here because it actually catches you. So you stay in, in a, in con a continual motion. How come, where's that finger? So you're going like, and then it sh around, around the outside in kind of like the, the most, the basic frequency and then shoots you into kind of like a hyper frequency focus and then it shoots you again into a, a super hyper concentrated focus of your consciousness and before you get tired of that it actually relax releases you 
and it catches you back in the norm. So you're constantly, you're constantly accelerating your consciousness. And before you, and you're able to operate in a very high level. And before you get tired of that high level, it relaxes you in a way that catches you back into the, in, into a cycle that's more at a relaxed pace. Wow. And so when I'm listening to this musical track that I've created, I'm, when I hear the sonic um, symbols, when I hear the sonic symbols that represent the different spatial regions, I'm actually adding in my mind, I'm training my mind to say, when I hear this sound, I want my mind to think from here. And then when I hear this sound, I want my mind to think from here. And I'm understanding how each sound delivers to the next sonic region in a spatial quality so that I hear the sound and my mind is actually creating space. And in that space, that allows you to do something really interesting because if you can create physical space in your mind, you can actually manipulate that stuff, that, that space. And if you're manipulating space, then you can actually accelerate into new realities. If you're able to actually create that space to start with, you can start manipulating and accelerating things like time and different ways of perception in very powerful ways. Mm. I think we're stepping into new zones of science in the relationship of maps and consciousness. There, there's just such a huge world that uh, you certainly are opening up and I've touched a little. I wonder if there's people out there that would be interested to learn from you and perhaps to uh, uh, dive into what you're presenting, because it seems to me that a lot of these maps, like again, it's when we share them and teach them to others that things start to happen because we're sharing that same reference point now. So I was wondering if you were looking for any kind of maybe students or clients or uh, anything like that. You know what, I'm actually, I'm gearing up to shoot the first show, the first episode, and I'm gonna shoot like a basically how I create media in this fashion. Um, and I'm gonna create it with just the divisions of my own consciousness. And then from that um, like visual understanding of how the different shows interact with each other, I wanna create shows that I'm basically going to give those shows away to people or basically get people involved in co-creating those shows so that we're all creating that pathway together. So um, when we're in this region, everybody's creating that, like basically having groups um, go on adventures and bring content and different media pieces, different perspectives to enhance and a, a definition of that culture region that we can collectively create together. So I really want to use the system to, call, to create a, a really potent definition of these pathways where we're, where we're um, just able to expand based on the collectives that are associated with each region. Mm. But first I want to map it basically with my own consciousness so I know, oh, this feels really good because it takes listening takes a lot of listening and and so i think you, you really need to get centered in yourself to know how to listen to yourself and your own wisdom and your own passion and your own desire um before other people can enter that space it's that's what the sacred space is for the sacred space is really to cultivate an understanding of of where you fit of where you feel met and secure and centered and balanced so that when new information is present, you're able to move with it in a fluid way. You can flow that around your orbit. And if you're not entering the sacred space to, to take care of yourself in that way, then you can find you, you get brought into other people's chaos because you don't have a, a, a grounded understanding, a, a grounded sacred listening to your own um, will and freedom and desire. In a, in a way that you can respond with, hmm. correspond with. Well, I look forward to the first piece of media that, uh, that does that. And maybe, maybe you can use the, the one week juggernaut score sheet towards aiming at that. 
Uh, I call it the juggernaut because it's like little steps in the in the right direction. It's like a juggernaut can't be stopped. And so we want to get everyone oh, on board like with, with they can't be stopped towards heading towards their their lifetime goals, or their year goals, and whatever else that they want to create. And so I think we've come to the end of our time, Jordan, and I'm uh, very excited to see what, what's going to happen next week. And uh, I'm very excited to see what you're doing with your maps. And I'm learning a lot by, by what you're sharing with me. And I hope if anyone else is, is watching this, this is all part of the, the very secret plan. And uh, we're planetary guardians that are looking to shift the economic system from one of fear to love. And Jordan is one of those pioneers. So much thanks to you, Jordan, for sharing with us today. And uh, see you, everyone. Have a great day. See ya.